So this this uh, H three H three did a video about this. There's this channel with this guy named Bold Guy, which is like, I don't know if he's one of those like quote unquote pickup artists, or just likes doing videos that he's pretending he is. I watched one video and I didn't get sick to my stomach, but it was just like, just kind of cringy and. It was like this guy, the video I saw, because I had to do the research, was this guy looking at this, like, girl stretching, who was like a free runner, and then he's trying to pick her up with these, like, and try to be, like, aggressive and try all these pickup artist stuff. Then he's chasing her in this cool. free running thing, and then, and then he ends up making out with her at the end, or kissing her. It was just really bad, and half of this is me watching it just thinking, did this guy just want to make out with the girl on camera and hire her? Which is funny, because I've had made out with girls in my videos, but I didn't pay money. Anyway, so the whole point is that H3H3 did did a uh, quote unquote like review of these videos and H3H3 Productions has their own way of you know they take shots and yes so which is fine. However, he got sued for copyright infringement by the person that owned owned this channel, and it could be uh, copyright infringement. You actually go to court. We're talking. You know, we're talking five, six figures. So this is another question of what's fair use here. What's fair use? And then not just that, they wanted a pay off, pay off. Or, oh, yeah, we'll just take some thousands if, if, uh, if, you, if you know, if it won't go away. And so H3H3, to their credit, manned up and said, uh, no, we can't do that because then that would give you free reign to do this with other channels. Or, okay, okay, what's the risk? You want to come in just for, and get 100000 out of us for, through an extensive, uh, lengthy and and uh, lawsuit that can drain our funds, or we'll just give you 5000 and go away. They didn't want to open Pandora's box to that. Right. And rightfully so, because that could be bad news, not just to them, but for any other uh, trolls that could, you know, like, like we talked about patent trolls in the, in the yes. past, same sort of thing. This could be copyright trolls that could... So what they did was they put out a video saying, we're being sued. And, and they didn't ask for uh, any funds. We just said this is just what, what it's going to be. So a good old uh, Philip DeFranco, who does, you know, he, he recaps news and YouTube stuff going on. And to my to my credit, I remember watching Philip DeFranco in the past not, not being that impressed. But from what I've watched in the past year, it seems like he's been doing a, a lot better work. To your credit or to his credit? To his credit. Well, I guess yeah, to both okay, are credit. Okay. Or, I've, or I've turned around on him, but he's uh, okay. also, I think, I matured and has done better work calling out stuff, whether it's social stuff, getting into politics a little bit, uh, not being afraid to call out uh, YouTube, uh, quote-unquote drama, not being afraid to, to, to call YouTubers uh, bad behavior going on, not not trying to hedge his bets, right. and being honest about it. So he put out a GoFundMe for defensive H3H3, and it reached $100,000 in like a day or two. Holy crap. And so the good news about this is that H3H3, H3 Productions aren't even sure they are going to need all the funds to contest this. They might. So what they decided to do was have uh, Philip DeFranco is going to turn the funds over. It's at 168000 right now. I should give something. Even if it's 50 bucks. I should give something. Uh, because what is happening now is this is being set up as a general sort fund? Of fund for YouTuber Excellent. copyright defense against trolls or anyone going after them. Um, which is a great idea. Absolute great idea. So there's a couple of, of copyright lawyers that uh, at first were giving free advice to uh, YouTubers and H3H3 called, uh, uh, let's see, it was Ryan Morrison and uh, Michael Lee. So what's going to happen is uh, due to this fun being around, uh, which they're naming uh, FUPA, uh, which is a funny name, mm -hmm. um, they, but it is an anagram. Uh, anagram? Is that right? Yeah. Acronym. Acronym. Not an anagram. Damn it. Uh, the money's going to be useful cause, because then if these guys have to take on a case or have to give up their time, they at least can be compensated as lawyers for valuable time to be put, in, put into cases like this. Uh, oh, by the way, the, 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 the YouTuber suing them is called Matt Haas Zone. They're the ones suing H3H3 Productions. So the estimate originally to defend was 100000 Philip DeFranco began with a generous $5,000 donation. Other big YouTubers uh, even... even um, Fine Brothers donated money, which is well, it's, it's good to do that. It's also good PR, but it's also good to use. I'm not gonna be totally simple. Yeah, it's, it's no, good it's, because if it's a collective fund, it's good for a few reasons. It's good because now, yes, uh, th what they're gonna do is um, uh, these two uh, lawyers. Uh, you can contact them uh, via Twitter, uh, Twitter or email, 
And they want the people with the problems to directly contact them. They don't want people to say, oh, these guys are having problems. They want the people directly to contact them. They're going to review it, and then if they feel like you have a case, they'll be able to at least go to bat for you. Even, even having representation responding to an email, it, that could stop it right there. Sure. If someone comes after you with their own lawyer saying, oh, I have a retainer, or I have lawyers... Oh, you're not going to fight back. You're going to roll over. Thank well, you. what if I lawyers respond to your lawyer? Are you going to now uh, nut up and then go through extra costs of going through? Right, a lot litigation? of this is intimidation, hoping that the people that they're going to threaten um, are going to not know what to do and are going to get scared. Yeah, and this is now anti-intimidation because now, if someone realizes a fund like this exists, and if this fund grows to a million or two million, and obviously there has to be care to make sure the funds stay with the right yes. people. Um, what this can do is have, uh, which I wish Google had, but Google probably would never do that, a, a fund set aside so that anyone comes after any even, I'd say, moderately, or hell, even a small YouTuber now could potentially use this this funding and be like, well, now you got to deal with this fund that's there. Because that's there. now you know that you come after me, if I have even a slight case, I now have financial backing. If someone came after me and you, we can say, okay, maybe maybe our case isn't open and shut, but now at least we have an avenue of at least moving towards some sort of uh, protection, right. which is what this is here. And it's at 168000 right now. This, I think, is only going to grow because this is going to be, a, I think, a blanket protection. Not, I don't want to say union, uh, sort of a YouTuber union, but at least it's something there that's tangible. I that see a lot. I, I could see a lot of people donating to this a lot. I could see it growing a lot. And what's interesting about it is, well, it's not going to get a lot of people shaking hands necessarily. I could see people from various sides of various fences donating towards this because it's a yeah. good, it's a solid uh, cause. A uh, leafy who had a feud with H three H three a month or two back, where they went after each other, pretty vitriolic. He even donated money. So I think any big YouTuber out there that is making. We're talking ones are making five hundred thousand a million a year. Yeah, kick in some few thousand bucks. Why not if you can afford it? Yep. You know, and then it'll just grow and grow. And hell, maybe they'll even do fundraisers for something. Like, I can picture them doing fundraisers for, for YouTubers coming together uh, and, and do. I don't see their Google or YouTube ever sponsoring, but you get some bigger YouTubers saying, "Hey, let's get a weekend. Let's do something with a marathon or something." And I can see this ballooning up. And I said, as long as it's as long as the money is used properly and there's some oversight to it, you got to trust that, that this is going to be used correctly. I can see only good things happening with, with this fund.